Let's begin with the myopia. What is myopia? Myopia is also known as nearsightedness. See, this word will help you. Nearsightedness will help you to memorize what kind of disease is uh, myopia. Okay. Now, a person with myopia can see nearby objects. Okay. The person with myopia can see nearby objects clearly, but cannot see distant objects distinctly distant object distinctly that means a person with a myopia myopic eye a person having myopia can see the objects which are you know closer to it right so suppose if i place a book uh, you know on very far apart i won't be able to read it without my glasses okay but if i bring my book closer to me even if i'm not wearing the glasses i can read the book Okay, that is why it is called nearsightedness. Sightedness means you can see it clearly. That means a myopic person can see the objects which are closer to it. If I, if, even if I remove my glasses and if I bring the book closer to me, I will be able to read the book. I can easily read the book. But without my glasses, if I take my book far apart or if I see the board, I won't be able to see what is written on the board. Suppose I am sitting on the third bench and I am looking at the board. I am having myopic eye. So, uh, uh, if I am looking at the board and I am sitting at the third or the fourth desk, I won't be able to read what is written on the board. But if I go closer to the board, very closer to the board, I can easily read what is written on the board. That is called myopia or nearsightedness. Nearsightedness means your sight. Things which are near that can be sighted, can be seen. Okay, so that is myopia. A person who has myopia can see nearby object clearly. Okay, the objects which are nearby that can be seen. Only the far apart object or the distant object cannot be seen. So, what, what, you know, in terms of near point and far point, let's try to understand this defect. A person with this defect has a far point nearer than infinity. What does this mean? See, far point was what? It is the farthest distance through which human eye can see distinctly, right? It is the largest distance through which I can see. But with a myopic eye, I cannot see the objects which are far apart. That means my I, the, the point up to which I can see the objects clearly, the farthest point for me has reduced. Most of the people, they can see up till, let's say, 100 centimeter. But a person with a myopic eye, that 100 centimeter distance is not comfortable. You have to bring it to 50 centimeter, 60 centimeter. So, so the farthest point has become nearer. Okay. It has reduced. So, nearer than infinite. In a myopic eye, the image of a distant object image of a distant object is formed in front of retina. To view the object clearly, where the image should be formed? It should be formed on the retina. But a person with a myopic eye, the image is, the, especially uh, ob the objects which are distant, that means the objects which are far apart, its image is formed in front of retina and not on retina itself. Okay. So, you have the diagram over here. So, for a normal far point for a normal myopic eye so this is very far right the object is placed over here and the uh, lens is converging on the light and the image is formed on the retina this is your retina the image is formed on the retina but for a myopic eye when the object is far apart the light is converging but see it's converging over here So, it is forming in front of retina. Instead of forming image over here, the image is being formed here. Okay, it is formed in front of retina. Now, this defect, it may arise due to what are the reasons for the defects? 
फर्स्ट इज एक्सेसिव कर्वेचर ऑफ आईलैंड एक्सेसिव कर्वेचर ऑफ आईलैंड सो इफ द कर्वेचर ऑफ द आईलैंड इज वेरी लार्ज ओके दैट मीन्स द लेंस इज थिक वेन द लेंस इज थिक जस्ट रिकॉल द पावर ऑफ अकोमोडेशन वेन द लेंस इज थिक यू कैन सी द नियर बाय ऑब्जेक्ट to see the far apart object or the distant object the lens has to be thin so in this case the excessive radius of curvature of the eye lens or elongation of the eyeball or elongation of the eyeball this defect can be cor corrected by using concave lens of suitable power so you have to use concave lens very important so concave lens will do what it will bring the image on the retina so a concave lens of suitable power needs to be used a concave lens of suitable power will bring the image back on the retina and thus the distinct dis, thus the defect is defect is corrected okay so this concave uh, the concave lens that you can see over here is basically doing what it is converging the rays on the retina the formation of the image is taking place on the retina so the the, the people with are which are having you know uh, myopia or which are having near sightedness they have to use the concave lens and usually in the uh, young adults or in the young age you have myopia right most of the students in your classrooms they, who are wearing uh, glasses they are having myopia they are having myopic eyes they 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 find it difficult to read the board without their glasses without their spectacles okay so we've discussed what is myopia we've discussed its causes either the elongation of the eyeball or the lens has the radius of excessive radius of curvature the lens has become thick it can be corrected using concave lens